start. Pisces. I better go over here to see you guys, at least to see the comments. Oh my gosh, we are still in the shadow period. That's basically what happens. So you have two jumpers. Um, Capricorns had this as a jumper, interestingly enough. Um, this is really interesting. Pisces, you're the 12th sign, right? You're the very last one. You're wrapping everything up. And for you, you are kind of like realizing this is all just an exercise. This was all just a thing. Like now I have to kind of like wrap up your experience and go quote unquote home, right? So that's inter interesting. Um, oh, you got this rocket book, right? So, yeah, I love it as well. So, guys, you are somehow happy with some kind of development. There is like a maybe a little bit of holding kind of like period. There's like something that kind of like really, really works. Um, you're really happy with certain kind of like emotional development, almost like so happy that you really want to be left alone and kind of like dealt with your own kind of like things, which would be kind of like really interesting, right? So let's see, Pisces. Pisces for March. For March. It's so nice that you guys found your way. Was it difficult to find your way back? I don't really know because it kept breaking and I said, let me restart computer and kind of start with this. So, woo, you're starting with Ace of Cups reversed and you just had Nine of Cups as a jumper. So there is a cycle. Maybe you're finishing off a relationship or you're really hesitant to start something. It's really difficult for you to kind of like go in a new direction over here, right? So, um, Ace of Cups can also talk about that you really want something badly. Maybe you really want a relationship. Maybe you feel frustrated about that. Maybe you feel, hey, I really need to go and I want to go in this direction and somehow this is really, really not happening. Um, and there is a queen of wands. Maybe you have somebody who, <laughs> let's call it is in a way, uh, maybe somebody who is controlling the narrative. Um, I wonder if this still means that, that you're dealing with somebody who still didn't sign off entirely on a relationship before starting something new that can sometimes kind of like create with Queen of Wands. And Queen of Wands is very different from you. What you offer and what they offer are two very, very different things, right? So maybe you're trying to be more like this person then don't. This is basically where the sun goes through your own sign. Like, so you are the one who is shining. You are maybe not this uh, doer doing stuff. And now everybody is suppressed with this freaking pandemic and everybody wants to do things, right? I mean, we have here double whammy. We have pandemic. We have like freezing temperatures. We didn't have winter practically until February 1st. And now, pfft, Okay, today's raining, so hopefully all the snow is going to melt. But you know what I mean. It's coming from all the sides. You have a death here reversed. Maybe, maybe you're still longing uh, for your ex of some sort because who said it like highly we are still in the shadow period right so this still kind of like comes in waves you know it's almost like when you pass by the bakery and you smell it it smells good but then you make three more steps and doesn't and then again it's just simply how it flows and it's really kind of like something that over here um there is like there is like an issue emotional issue some of you are feeling very emotional some of you are possibly even feeling jealous over somebody who basically stepped down everything is freaking reversed that was like the case with aquarians too because reverse 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 right and that means everything is upside down sometimes like this reversal has to happen did you ever try to use the hourglass you reverse it and it's a new cycle starting but for you this is really telling you almost like universe is blocking you for going in a certain direction so there are you know like when you kind of like go toward fire then first it's very very hot and you, you wonder if you should go and then you burn yourself it's kind of like all of these signs are there but you still really want to grab it over here from what i see oh by the way yesterday tiger wanted to grab an eagle or a hawk i guess it was like Hawk was there munching on a freaking scroll and I was grabbing the phone to kind of like videotape this and Tiger was already running. I was like, oh my God, now I have to worry about Hawk attacking the dog. Then you have eight of 
Pentacles. So you're like throwing all caution in the wind. There is like something that you want and I can almost like taste it. You want something really badly. But there is a circumstance here that you are completely unaware and you need to kind of like figure out um, how to go in in this direction because it's almost like that you are like for example somebody gives you a story dating story yeah you know I just cannot meet you today because oh I don't know somebody's sick or whatever uh, you are not questioning that story and the story is like too obvious and there is like something here that is warning you about it right then you have like the six of pentacles here reversed, which yes, this is now confirming there is like some kind of like Mercury retrograde thing. So I mean, something from the past is revived. So it could be a person, it could be a situation. Maybe you had tension with your boss, uh, especially if it was a female boss. Maybe you had a tension with your partner before you suited out and now it's resurfacing. It really, really sucks having this in your birthday period. I really, really get it. This here, something around, um, let me just try to move this camera properly something around new moon in Pisces which is on the 13th and on the 13th we have like two things that are really connecting to you one is going to be new moon in Pisces and that's kind of like going to guide us toward greater understanding of everybody it's not going to be just the selfish me kind of a thing but rather how do we make this like big dramatic changes but also at the same time um, you are going to feel very enthusiastic so after 13th up to the 13th I have to tell you you're going to you're going to live drama because you always live a movie so that movie is going to be drama but then on the 13th uh, there is like a Venus and Neptune conjunction that is really taking place and I did print this thing here which I usually send um, when I send my um, mail list and I'm going to send it to you so you basically can see how this is really happening. You see uh, Sun and Neptune is over here showing up uh, already and then you're going to have New Moon Pisces and then Venus and Neptune technically on the 14th here that is really happening, which is really, really important for you. That's basically where you can receive a boost of romance and sort of like um, a magic, which is really, really important over here for you as well, right? I didn't even tell you what you have on the bottom. You have, um, maybe you have Aries in your life. You have the Emperor reverse, so which means, you know, you need to kind of like brush brush up on some skills. I really feel from all this reading that you're a little bit too trusting, and that's the problem. So here is another four that is mirroring this one, and this really talks about lack of enthusiasm, uh, kind of like you want something, but you want something while you're lying down and this sometimes means that we that you don't really have much influence in the situation and that somebody is um you're depending on somebody and that's it's always a bad situation because look at this pentacles there's something rotating over somebody's family which is really really important and it's almost like feeling isolated uh, not being a part of it you're really hoping that somebody is going to take this leap of faith and trust that like it means something else could be a new cycle it could be better this is very promising um so but this card is also single card which means maybe somebody's not single maybe somebody needs to be released from some obligations from husband from wife from a job in order to kind of like create a space which currently looks like there is a, some turmoil about it there it is some good luck some good kind of like turn off the events you are like hoping for the best but you're fearing the worst it's kind of like you're in between those situations these are really good combinations over here i mean you have once you have a one here and now you have a 10 and zero which kind of like shows this is some kind of karmic process and that's always what happens during pisces a transition so there he is he's showing up king of cups that's that's your dream mate right whether you're male or female it's somebody who you kind of like put a crown on be very careful it came reverse this person is going to tell you lots of things that you want to hear but are they true are they doable are they uh going on this is like where somebody 
just spends this daydreaming with you, especially if you're dating another Pisces, that can be kind of devastating. So let me see what else I have over here. I have let your friends help you. You know what is really good about friends? If you have true friends, if you don't have friends who are just uh, flattering you or having some other kind of like reasons, then they're going to tell you their feeling. And if they tell you, look, I don't see this happening and I don't think this is good for you, trust them, listen to them because it tells me that you're going to be happy. But that happiness, we'll have to see uh, April. This happiness might not be long lasting. This person is not willing to commit. This person is not willing to kind of like go forward. So, uh, but you know what, if you're kind of like really dying for that little bit of happiness, why not to have it? Um, because it's going to be easier for you to kind of like sign it off later. Maybe you're going to see something about it. But in the meantime, I'm telling you better kind of like watch it. That is really, really important. So, hello, Kathy. My gosh, I haven't seen you in a long time. So let me just stop recording here.